50 miles per hour wind, pea-sized hail and frequent cloud-to-ground lightning. Impact, expect minor damage to tree limbs and blowing around of light, unsecured objects. I hope you guys are having a great day in the life and that you're doing something you love today. For today's video, I wanted to talk about Civil War camp art. And in particular, I wanted to try and make some Civil War camp art. For those of you who don't know, Civil War camp art, or trench art as it began to be called around World War I, is art that a soldier made in the field, whether it was in camp or in the trenches, and they were typically, during the Civil War, made out of three-ring mini balls. They would take a mini ball and they would take their knife and they would carve it into some sort of item. Now, I found these that were made into game pieces or carved into teeth or carved into... Well, I'll let you be the judge of what that one's carved into. But the other night when I was at the Dixie Relic Recovery Club meeting, I was talking to Kenny about carved bullets, and he was telling me about a bullet that he had found that was carved into a wine glass or a little chalice. And I thought that was really amazing that a soldier had been able to do that with an item as small as a mini ball. And I thought how neat it would be to attempt that. After attempting to cast buttons uh, about a week ago, I've really become interested in what the soldiers went through in the field and the types of measures they would go to to acquire items they needed. And often what they needed was something to divert their mind. So I think carving this camp art was a way for them to do that. With that said, I'm going to try and carve one of these little wine chalices today. I'm going to use tools that would have been available to a Civil War soldier. I'm going to use a rusty knife, um, possibly a little file, and a pair of snips to be able to snip away some parts of the lead. I don't know which ones I'll end up using the most, but those are the tools I'm going to have available to me. I do want to say right now before I begin, do not attempt this at home. Lead is toxic and Using a sharp knife on a very small item can be very dangerous. If you cut yourself while holding one of these lead bullets, you're going to be putting lead directly into your bloodstream. So don't risk your health to do this. Let the bird dog do it for you. With that said, let's go out and try and create a little Civil War camp art.
Well, I hope you guys enjoyed watching me create this little chalice. I'm sure I could have taken it a little bit further and tried to narrow the base a little bit more, but it was getting a little dicey holding this tiny piece of lead in my hands with a sharp, rusty knife carving away on it. So I feel like I did pretty good considering it was my first attempt and probably my last attempt at carving Civil War camp art. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you have a great day in the life. See you tomorrow.